Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Broadcasting live worldwide. What is a teacher? I looked up the definition, and it says a teacher teaches, especially in school. Hmm. I didn't like that definition. Mind you, I was Googling it. As we celebrate and honor the women of history, as this month, March, is Women's History Month, I started thinking about who I'm going to speak about today. So I figured I'd start with a definition of a teacher, a specific teacher, one that I've spoken about before on this show. Today, as we continue on with our Thursday edition in honoring women of history, I'm going to honor my first grade teacher, Mrs. Klein. And my definition is very simple. Professional, willing to do anything and everything possible to help those that want to learn. Have Faith, Let It Begin starts right now. Hi, Daddy. Ariel, can you say, Have Faith? Again. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. A weekly show all about faith. A show with motivational topics, inspirational stories, and personal testimony set out to change the world. Hello, my name is Amari, and today we are back on another episode of Have Faith and Let's Begin. Hi, my name is Isabella, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hi, I am Mia, and you are listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Can you say Have Faith, Let It Begin? Huh? Yeah. 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 Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. This is Angel. Today is Thursday, March 11th, 2021. Again, I want to give everybody a thank you, a very big thank you for all your kind words about our new logo and also about um, my birthday. Thank you for the birthday wishes. God bless you all. I am slowly responding to everybody individually. Folks, as we honor the women of uh, history and this month of March, uh, we are uh, absent with our two nie- my two nieces, uh, Ariana and Isabella. They should be back on next Thursday. Today, I'm going to ride solo on this one. Today, I'm going to honor my first grade teacher, Mrs. Klein. And I gave a little version of my description of what a teacher is by definition. But, you know, I could go go on and on uh, further about what I think it should be. Now, I don't want to get political. And I don't want to sit here and throw daggers at unions. Because God knows I belong to a union. But I will say this. And I'm going to say it once and I'll end with it that way. Teachers are way underpaid. A person who has dedicated their career on helping others prepare themselves for the world, allowing them the opportunity to be nurturing at times, symbolic, role model, material, all wrapped into one. That is amazing. Now, obviously, teachers are men and women. We know that. But I'm speaking today solely about my first grade teacher, Mrs. Klein, who had a huge impact in my life. People say, in first grade? Yes, in first grade. She made me feel special. She always made me feel like I was ahead of the class even though I wasn't. Trying to learn 
English af- after being you know, br- brought here from Puerto Rico learning to speak English um, was difficulty. Reading was difficult for me. But relating with others like kids and being in a good mood and free-minded and spirited came natural, naturally for me. Mrs. Klein always did everything she could to make me feel good. Even when I didn't do well on her exams, these little small exams, you know, with writing, she would always find a way to make it fun. So much that when it was around my birthday, I gave her an invitation. I remember giving her a card, inviting her to come to my birthday party. Right before the end of school, she pulled me aside and said, Thank you very much for the invitation. And thank you so much for asking me to come to your home as you celebrate your birthday. Now, unfortunately, I'm not able to make it. But I'll tell you what. The one day that you graduate, I will promise you that I will be there. Or I will call you. Something to that nature. And I remember as I got (laughs) pretty wiser, I think it might be. I remember saying, well, maybe one day you just have to come to my wedding. Now, Let's fast forward decades upon decades. I got engaged. And just before we started planning out the seating arrangements, I reached out to Mrs. Klein. I was able to get her phone number from a colleague of hers that I knew. And the phone rang. She picked up the phone and she had still the same voice. Nothing had changed. Still the same smile. I could, you know, and when I say smile and I'm talking on the phone, you can hear a smile as she greeted the telephone with, Hello, how may I help you? And I said to her, Mrs. Klein, she says, Oh, I'm sorry, I've been remarried. Um, I said, Oh, forgive me. Now I won't repeat her name, her new name, because I haven't got full permission, but I'm going to use her maiden name that I. I've known her as. I said, Mrs. Klein, I don't know if you know my voice. Do you know who this is? She goes, I think so, but I don't want to be wrong. I said, this is Angel. She goes, my Angel? I said, yes. Now, backstory, I did see her years before when she was a year away from retirement. And I and my friend of mine went there and we delivered a, a touching honorable moment in front of her faculty uh, thanking her for all that she had done for us so it had been about three or four years since she had seen me maybe four or five and she said what's up I said well do you remember when I was a child I invited you to my birthday she says yeah I says okay and you couldn't make it yeah I remember I told you that the next invitation would be for one of my biggest days of the year Biggest days of my life, I should say. And she said, is it that time? I said, it's time. I'm inviting you to my wedding. And on June 12th, 2015, Mrs. Klein and her husband arrived. And I was able to dance with her on my wedding day. Teachers make a difference. All of you. Male or female, even though we are honoring women today, have the ability to be a role model. Have the opportunity to change the world one student at a time. Sure, not every student may be willing, ready, and able to want to receive all the opportunities that you will present to them. But deep down inside... Everyone's a student. But not everybody can be a teacher. It's something you're born with. Something you desire to be. And I say thank you. 
And I hope that all of you, in your passings, think about the teacher that inspired you. And if it happened to be a female, let's honor them today. Since we're honoring women today. Let's honor them in our Facebook accounts. Let's honor them in all social media. And I want you to share with me, who was your influence? Who inspired you? Well, I want to leave on another note. I also had speech growing up. And I don't honestly remember the speech uh, teacher that I had. But I had had her for a couple of years growing up. And I had not seen her for over 20 years. Possibly maybe even more. Somebody in my church had passed away. And when I went to the funeral, and I was giving my blessings and my condolences, I overheard a voice. I turned around and there she was, my speech teacher. I tapped her on the shoulder and I said, I'm so sorry. I don't remember your name, but I know who you are. I hope you know who I am. And she says, I don't. She says, well, let me tell you. 20, 30 years ago, you helped me with my English. You helped me with the ability to articulate and to speak. And you told me there was not... It was nothing wrong with learning a different language. And it was something special to be able to speak two languages. I said, my name is Angel. And you were my speech teacher. She remembered my last name. We embraced. She thanked me. And I thanked her in front of her family for doing a great job. In life, we're going to encounter different types of teachers. Teachers that we grow up with, teachers that are inspiring, and though that, and all those that do different types of teaching, whether the word of the Lord, teaching you how to drive, teaching you how to survive. There's a teacher in all of us. But not everybody can be a school teacher, let's face it. Not everybody could be a professor. It takes a special person to be that that teacher. Let's end with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for today's episode. We thank you for every teacher all over the world, male or female. As we honor the women... Every Thursday here at Have Faith, Let It Begin for the month of March, we remember that teachers can make a difference. Teachers are people too, but they're role models. They're an integral part to our way of life. They are the gateway and the door and many doors that we will take to learning the right road, the correct path to righteousness. Allow all of us to embrace that and never forget to have faith. Let it begin. Amen. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts. Because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day. Right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress... <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.